Ever wanted to learn about canceled Dragon Ball games? Find out in every canceled Dragon Ball game. Game Facts Special. There have been 14 canceled Dragon Ball games, ranging in genres from first-person shooters to RPGs and fighters. There's even a canceled game with a motion-controlled Goku. First up, Dragon Ball GT Transformation 2. In the early 2000s, developer Webfoot Technologies and publisher Atari created the Dragon Ball Z The Legacy of Goku series. Developed for the Game Boy Advance, these action role-playing games followed the story of the wildly popular anime and sold quite well for the time. After the third entry in the series, Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury, Webfoot began working on the next game, tentatively titled Legacy of Goku 4. However, at some point in development, that game morphed into more of a side-scrolling beat-em-up rather than the isometric action role-playing game format of previous titles. This led to that game ultimately becoming a spin-off titled Dragon Ball GT Transformation. Unfortunately, Dragon Ball GT Transformation was poorly received and sold equally poorly, so the potential sequel, Dragon Ball GT Transformation 2, was cancelled. However, not before gaming websites and retailers had a chance to start advertising the follow-up with a release date of Fall 2005, which was later pushed to September 2006 before disappearing completely. Dragon Ball Red Ribbon Army This game is basically a phantom of the video game industry, haunting the internet as well as the minds of the fans who hopelessly waited for its arrival. Depending on who you ask, it was called either Dragon Ball Red Ribbon Army or the Red Ribbon Army Saga, and the only indication of its existence is a long-since deleted entry on the Atari website, a similarly deleted entry on the Dragon Ball Z website, and a game FAQs page. None of the mentions of the game actually outline what it was supposed to be other than a Game Boy Advance game, but internet sleuths have deduced that it might have been an action RPG similar to the legacy of Goku that followed the events of the anime leading up to the Red Ribbon Army arc. Dragon Ball Z Saiyan Smash Just before the launch of the action-packed fighting game Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, Atari also announced the development of Dragon Ball Z Saiyan Smash, along with the consoles it would be available for, GameCube and PS2, when it was released in the third quarter of 2004. Unfortunately, that release window came and went, and Dragon Ball Z Saiyan Smash was never spoken or heard of after that initial announcement. Most assume that the project was quietly cancelled behind the scenes, as was the case for so many Dragon Ball games that didn't work out. However, whatever work was completed on Dragon Ball Z Saiyan Smash is believed to make up some or even most of Dragon Ball Z Sagas, a 3D brawler that was released for the PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Xbox in March 2005. The next couple cancelled games sound more like concepts from a blowhard executive than games in production. But maybe some of them could have happened, and we'll have better games after we get through these. Untitled Unreleased Games from GamePro Interview Among the Dragon Ball games that never saw the light of day were a few that never even got a title. The only mention of them was in a 2002 issue of GamePro magazine, in which the senior vice president of Infograms, or Atari Paul Rind, outlined the company's plans for the future of Dragon Ball titles. In that statement, Rin described titles for the GameCube, PlayStation 2, Xbox, and, most surprisingly, PC. The GameCube title would link, literally and figuratively, to the legacy of Goku GBA games to flesh out those experiences and, quote, transfer data to enhance the gameplay on the handheld console. It was supposed to have action-adventure RPG elements and more than 36 characters to play as. However, there wasn't even a developer attached to the game when these statements were made. Never count your chickens before they hatch. The PS2 project would not strictly be a single-player game. It was planned to be a multiplayer brawler and arena-style game that would make use of an online infrastructure that wasn't available in North America yet, though offline brawls would also be possible. Up to eight-player online Dragon Ball fights in 2003 would have probably blown many kids' minds. Unfortunately, Dragon Ball games wouldn't see online functionality until Budokai Tenkaichi 3 in 2007, and arena combat didn't show up until Budokai Tenkaichi in 2005. Rind also talked about tentative plans for a Dragon Ball game on Xbox to be released around 2003. Though it was just an idea, meaning development on it had not yet started. The company was waiting to see if the Xbox's hardware install base and influence would expand before committing resources to it, and apparently that never happened. 
While every other console was awash with various styles of Dragon Ball game, the Xbox would only ever see Dragon Ball Z sagas in 2005. Finally, the PC game. What Rin discussed for PC was a first-person action game set to release around Holiday 2002, which would be built on a, quote, proven 3D action engine. Was there a Dragon Ball game in development that used the Unreal Engine? It's possible, but the world may never know. The PC also didn't receive anything in the way of Dragon Ball games until 2015's Dragon Ball Xenoverse, though it enjoys major releases like Dragon Ball Kakarot now motion-controlled tech demo for PlayStation and Sega Saturn. The 1997 Tokyo Toy Show was home to a presentation that was incredibly impressive for the time, although it may have been too advanced to actually be made. At that show in March 97, a tech demo for a motion-controlled Dragon Ball fighting game wowed crowds. The game being shown off was allegedly in development for PlayStation and Sega Saturn, though this specific game was never released. The only evidence of this tech is an image from the convention show floor, which displays a man in a Dragon Ball-esque costume performing a Kamehameha gesture, and a TV screen showing a polygonal Super Saiyan Goku actually doing the move. While this game never hit the market, there were motion-controlled Dragon Ball games in Bandai's Let's TV Play plug-and-play game systems in the late 2000s. Dragon Ball Z Sell to Kogeki Da the 3DO was an ill-fated video game console that was around from 1993 to 1996. In 1994, a game for that system, called Dragon Ball Z Sell to Kogeki Da, was demoed to a Japanese audience, showcasing a game where the player would wear a boxing glove-like motion device to beat up a virtual cell. This might have been cool, but the 3DO was far from successful, so the game's publisher, Bandai, likely pulled the plug on it to avoid wasted resources. A scan of a French magazine talking about the product exists on the internet. Dragon Ball Z Super Butoden 2 Dragon Ball Z Super Butoden 2 is a game that actually was released across Japan and Europe in 1993 and 1994. The game received good reviews and great sales in the regions it was released, but it unfortunately never made it to North America, and it was never translated into English. There was an English translated version that was intended for release and previewed in Latin America, but it never hit the market. The only way to get your hands on the game officially in North America was to pre-order Dragon Ball Z Extreme Butoden on Amazon to receive a code for the Japanese untranslated version of the game. Dragon Ball Z Buchigiri Match Depending on how you feel about gacha games, you might be happy this next game met an untimely demise. Dragon Ball Z Buchigiri Match was a card game available on web browsers in Japan. It was playable from May 2018 until May 2020, when it was shut down for good. This style of game is usually made with the intention of making large amounts of money, and when Buchigiri Match failed to meet its quotas, it was cancelled. The game being only available on browsers in a single territory could have had something to do with its failure to bring in the big bucks and subsequent cancellation. 3D Legacy of Goku Remake this game is less of a cancellation and more of a project that was never going to get off the ground. For some reason, a former employee of Webfoot Technologies, the development studio behind the Legacy of Goku GBA games, created a proof of concept for a 3D remake of Legacy of Goku on the Nintendo 3DS. Reportedly, their plan was to take the prototype to Namco Bandai and show them the rabid fan response, which would hopefully lead to the current holder of the Dragon Ball game rights allowing them to make it. The plan did not work. The Legacy of Goku games are still locked to their aging 2D versions on obsolete hardware. Dragon Ball Online It might be hard to believe, but there was actually a fully-fledged Dragon Ball MMORPG in the early 2010s. It was simply called Dragon Ball Online and was developed by NTL Inc. for Korea, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. The servers for the game opened across those markets between 2010 and 2011. Unfortunately, the game didn't run for very long, despite building up a rabid install base. All of the servers were shut down before the end of 2013, after only a few years of service. However, another Dragon Ball-themed website went up a year later in 2014, teasing something called Dragon Ball Z New Project. One month later, the project was revealed to be Dragon Ball Xenoverse, the combat-oriented MMO Lite that was released in February 2015. Xenoverse retains many gameplay elements from Dragon Ball Online, including character creation and many of the story beats. Budokai 3 GameCube Port 
The Dragon Ball Z Budokai games were very successful, and the first two found a great home on the PlayStation 2 and GameCube. The ports to the latter console actually looked and performed better in most cases, which made a GameCube version of Budokai 3 seemingly inevitable. Except, it never came out. Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 was only released on the PlayStation 2, and for a pretty saddening reason. By the time Budokai 3 was in development, third-party support of Nintendo's GameCube all but ceased due to poor sales on the platform. Attack of the Saiyans Sequel Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saiyans was a turn-based RPG that was released in 2009 for the Nintendo DS. It was positively received by fans, and was actually one of the first DBZ games developed under the Namco Bandai umbrella after the company acquired the rights from Atari earlier that year. Those who played the game might remember that Attack of the Saiyans ended on a pretty significant cliffhanger, showing Frieza and the planet Namek, implying where the next game would go. However, that sequel never came, likely because Monolith Soft moved on to bigger projects. Xenoblade Chronicles was released on the Wii a year later in 2010. Thanks to Mike Alexander for writing this episode! Make sure to like the video and subscribe for a ton more cancelled games! Check out our recent episodes on cancelled Spider-Man, Batman, and Pokemon games! This is McGen signing off. Thanks for watching! This has been a Game Facts Special.